When you were doing your research, was there something in particular that stood out to you that you maybe uncovered or discovered or was surprised um, by? Well, I think just like ticks are everywhere. I know that in the South, maybe not so much in South Carolina. Um, and I know that a lot of people in this area are from the North, so they like think about Lyme disease and ticks a lot. But in the South, I was in Al I went to Auburn University for graduate school. And especially in Alabama, they have this narrative that like ticks aren't really that prevalent. They are. Mm. Um, they are, and tick-borne diseases are down there. It, so mm -hmm. I think just the biggest thing is, like, there were ticks. Yeah. <laughs> it's not something to let your guard. If you're outside at all, just, mm -hmm. like, it's like, you know, mosquitoes are buzzing around you, and you just kind of yeah. make them go away. It's same thing with ticks. And, like, and it, they carry uh, illnesses as oh, well. Oh, yeah. Oh, I yeah. mean, malaria, I think the mosquito is the most deadly, deadliest animal on the planet. Well, yeah, worldwide for sure. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, it's it's so similar. Like, you know, if you're thinking about that, just also think about it. Am I going to be in grassy areas? Am I going to be in wooded areas? If mm -hmm. so, then treat your clothes. Well, full disclosure, I was bitten by a Lyme disease tick um, laying on my lounge chair yeah. side in my backyard mm -hmm. in Forsberg. Yep. And yeah. I grew up on Long Island. Yeah, not and surprised. And so I got the, it's not even, they call it a bullseye, but it was long. It's not actually round, mm -hmm. and it was on my back. And yep. I remember being like, what's, what's biting me? And then, you know, um, a couple of days later, there's this huge rash, but only 20% of people bitten by a tick get that rash. Yep. It's not, mm -hmm. just because you get the rash does not, or just because you don't get the rash does right. not mean you're negative. You're lucky if you get the rash. You are lucky if you mm -hmm. get the rash. Yeah. And and sometimes the rash takes a different shape. It's not necessarily a no. perfect bullseye. It can Mine take different like forms. Mine was like the Milky Way, you know, yeah. it was like long and spread out like that. Did you get treated for it? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So I did an mRNA. Oh, okay. Before yeah. anybody knew about it. Yeah. Wow, um, this was a while ago, huh? Yeah. So I did an mRNA from a uh, from Greece, the country. Oh, okay. Um, and we sent it out. Uh, my blood work and they sent back an mRNA designed to kill that bacteria. Oh, wow. And I had multiple. I, I got four levels of bacteria treatment. Wow. So um, it, that was a lifesaver for me, but I may have had some side effects from the mRNA because mm. it's in those lipid nanoparticles. So you never know exactly. The best, the best way is to not get it. Well, Just don't right. get it. <laughs> and, <laughs> and in an also, ideal scenario, that's, and that's also, what would happen. Keeping your immune system healthy. Yes. Because most people can keep it tamped down mm -hmm. their whole lives um, and never even know they have contracted because we contract things all the time. But if your immune system is strong enough, you won't even know you have it. Uh, but they are discovering that it is passed on in utero.